solving quadratic inequalities, but this time make it quadratic formula. There's two other videos that go with this one. There's solving quadratic inequalities by square roots and solving quadratic inequalities by factoring. Just so you know, lots of different methods. So much fun. Take some notes out. <laughs> Math with Miss B. Math with Miss B. There's a thousand other places that you'd rather be. But you're watching Math with Miss B. We have three examples, and example number one is negative 2x squared minus x plus 8 is greater than 6. We're using the quadratic formula. And so to use the quadratic formula, you always want to make sure that your problem is set equal to zero at the beginning. So once it is set equal to zero, then you will plug it into the formula. You don't remember the formula you said? Well, look at that. I did it for you. So negative b, so negative negative one plus or minus the square root of b squared. So that means negative one squared minus four times a, which is negative two times c, which is two all over 2a. A is negative 2. Okay, I color-coded it. You see, I, I got y'all, okay? I got y'all. I really did you a solid. I color-coded all the things so that it looks good. You get it. No, no confusion. This is just a PEMDAS situation, okay? This is me just figuring out the order of operations under that radical. Exponents first, then multiplication, then subtraction, okay? So make sure you get it right. I'm not here to teach you PEMDAS though. I'm here to teach you how to solve an inequality, um, a quadratic inequality. So when I simplify under the radical, I get a 17 on the outside. Negative negative one turns to plus, turns into a positive one. On the bottom, two times negative two is negative four. Radical 17 equals approximately 4.12. Approximately, okay? I know it says equal to. It should have the little wavy sign, but I ain't feel like finding it. Anyway. So approximately uh, 4.12. So we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna do one plus 4.12 over negative four. And that's gonna give us approximately 1.28. So X is greater than one point, negative 1.28. On the other side, so that's us splitting up the answers because the quadratic formula is you have to do a plus and then a minus, right? So now I'm gonna do one minus 4.12 over negative four. And when I do that, I'm gonna get X is greater than 0.78. So we're gonna take that orange answer and we're gonna take that blue answer and those are the two values that are gonna come with us to our number line. So here we go. Remember you want your values from least to greatest. So this is my number line. So first I need to decide, am I using open circles or closed circles or parentheses versus uh, parentheses versus brackets on the number line. Depends on how your teacher's teaching it to you, okay? We're using open circles uh, and closed circles, but they the same thing as parentheses and brackets, okay? Um, so we're using closed circles approximately at negative 1.28 and then approximately at, at positive 0 0.78. And so now I'm gonna show you the different areas of the graph. There's a blue area, there's the purple area in between both of the solutions, and then there's the orange area, okay? We have to choose, you have to choose a test point in each area. So for the blue area. Okay, y'all, so I made a mistake in the original video. That's why you cannot see my face right now. But I am going to um, redo it because I forgot to change some of the signs in the last one. That's my bad, but I'm human. I make a lot of mistakes, and if I listened to myself, um, and all the, and I just gave up all the time, I would never get anything done. I would never try and I would never be successful. So that's just a life lesson tip for you. Don't let mistakes stop you. Just pick it up, fix it, move it, keep it moving. Okay. So, um, I'm going to plug in the negative two. Um, and so when I simplify again, you're doing PEMDAS. So you're doing negative two squared, which is four. Four times negative two is negative eight. Negative, negative two is positive two. And then when I simplify that, I get two is greater than six. That is false. 
So then we're gonna plug in zero. We love to plug in zero, right? Because everything just cancels out. So I get eight is greater than six. That is true, baby. And then we're gonna plug in two. And I'm gonna get um, negative eight minus two. So negative two is greater than six. That is also false. Um, so the only area that's true is in the middle, the purple area. So that's what my graph would look like. And then my solution would be a um, intersection. So it would be one point, negative 1.28 comma 0 0.78. Bada bang, bada boom, baby. And that is the example fixed. Now, this next example, so again, I'd be telling y'all to pause the video, see if you can do it on your own, okay? Um, and so the first thing that you want to do for quadratic formula is set it equal to zero. So just like factoring, we want to set it equal to zero. Square roots, though, you just isolate x. But anyway, minus 10, minus 10. Uh, so I'm going to get 3x squared plus 6x plus 1 is less than 0. There's the quadratic formula all done nice and pretty for you because I know y'all don't be remembering stuff. Okay, so I color-coded it. So negative b, so negative 6 plus or minus the square root of uh, 6 squared minus 4 times a, which is 3, times c, which is 1, all over 2 times a, which is 2 times 3. Okay. I got negative 6 plus or minus the square root of 24. Again, I did all this stuff under the radical PEMDAS. PEMDAS, baby. The square root of 24 is approximately 4.9. Approximately. Again, I was too lazy to find the little wavy equal sign. Okay? Um, so we have to separate them now. We got to do those negative 6 plus 4.9 and then negative 6 minus 4.9. Okay? Okay? So when I simplify that, I get x is greater than or equal to negative 0 0.18. And then on the other side, I'm going to get negative 6 minus 4.9 over 6. And it's x is greater than negative 1.2, negative 1.82, excuse me. So the orange answer and the blue answer, I'm going to take with me to my number line. Let's go to the number line. So remember, you want the negative, I mean, the smaller answer first and then the bigger answer second. So... That's what we got. So looking at our symbol, we have greater than symbols. Open circles or closed circles? Open circles. Good. So on my number line, look at how I did my number line this time. Negative 2, negative 1.5, negative 1, negative 0 0.5, 0, 0 0.51. I went by 0.5s this time because my numbers were pretty close together, actually. So negative 1.2 is very close to 2, but not. And then uh, negative one negative 0 0.18 is in between 1 and 0 0.5 so that's where it goes so now I'm gonna draw the areas the blue area the purple area and the orange area so you guys can see the different areas where I need to test the point so we're gonna choose a test point uh, uh huh so negative 2 in the blue area when I plug it in is that true no it's not it's false so blue area is not gonna work out for me so I'm gonna choose an area a point in the purple area I'm gonna choose a negative one I'm gonna plug it in is that true yeah and then the next in the orange area I'm gonna choose zero and that's false dang it so the only area that's gonna work is my beautiful purple area okay so what does that look like in set notation well it looks like negative 1.82 comma negative 0 0.18 parentheses parentheses because open circles parentheses hello all of those things are the same okay okay one more example yay you should do that next example on your own so you should pause the video, do this last example on your own, see if you can do it, and then come back to me when you're done. All right, 
this example is already set equal to zero. We love to see it. So all I have to do is plug it into the quadratic formula. So negative B, so negative negative two plus or minus the square root of negative two squared minus four times A times C all over two times A and A is five. C was what, negative one? Good. I'm a PEMDAS the crap out of that junk. And I get the square root of 24 under the radical. So what do you want to do? You want to make sure that you figure out what the square root of 24 is. And it's approximately 4.9, honey. Okay? Uh, so we're going to do 2 plus 4.9 over 10. And that's going to give me x is greater than or equal to, pay attention to that symbol, 0 0.69. And then 2 minus 4.9 over 10. That's going to give me x is greater than or equal to negative 0 0.29. So we're going to take our orange answer, we're going to take our blue answer over to the number line. So here we go. We're going to plot our numbers on the number line, but you got to ask yourself a question. Open circle or closed circle? Definitely going to be closed circles, okay? So with my little closed circles, or you could use brackets, doesn't matter. Um, now we're gonna denote blue area, purple area, orange area, and we're gonna pick a point from each area. And this blue area, we're gonna choose negative one. I'm gonna plug it into my function or my inequality. <laughs> that one's gonna be true. Then for the purple one, I chose zero. Um, I'm gonna get false. And then I'm gonna choose one for the orange area and I'm gonna get true. So that means orange and blue. Swoop, swoop. My solution, okay, is negative infinity to 0 0.29 bracket. Why did I use a bracket? Because I had to equal to in union with 0 0.69 comma infinity close parentheses, okay? If you did that well, give yourself a pat on the back. Yay! That is the end of solving quadratic inequalities by the quadratic formula. I say this at the end of every video. If you watched me do it, go back and see if you can do them on your own without my help. Because just because you watched me do it don't mean you know how to do it. And then if not, I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.